Hey fellas, Alex bringing you a quick kit review as a request of Tactical Jekyll Doe by Beloved Andy. This one here is for you, buddy. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take my time with this video. It will be a little long, but I want to make sure I got everything covered for you. Um, I know my kit review skills, if you will, aren't up to par exactly, <clears throat> but practice makes perfect. So let's go ahead and take a look inside. This is my first um, AFE Club kit. I'm um, going to go ahead and just add that. Um, I traded a couple crappy, not really crappy, but um, just a couple of kits I know I didn't, don't really have any use for um, with the head of my model club, and he got this a couple years back and never touched it. So I just made a quick happy trade with him for this one. Um, and yeah, it just looked neat. I want to go ahead and take a look at it. Well, first off, I really like AFE's boxes. I'm just going to say that. I know it's really just rhetorical, but really, really nice packaging in these. All right. We have some full color photographs on the side. We have the U.S. National Guard of Ohio, 1976 84. Have the ROC, the Repub um, isn't that China? I think that's China. Um, in the Kinmen Islands, 1960. Oops, I'm hitting the Panzer III. We have the German Army of 1961. It's really nice there. And we have here, and you definitely like this one. We have Japan's Ground Self Defense Force Artillery School at Jiba Pre Prefecture. Pre yeah, I guess Jiba Prefecture in the 1970s. Alright, let's go take a look inside. Back. So, just take a quick look. Get numbers if anyone was interested. Let's take a look inside. I like the whole lining of the box is all colored photographs of other kits that AFE has. I thought that was neat. Stay. Alright, first off, the instruction manual. It's a beast. It's quite a lot. But I do like that it does come with somewhat of like a poster size print, full color print of the vehicle for the box art. I'm kind of debating whether or not put it on the wall or try to collect some of these and make like a wallpaper in the back. Be pretty neat. Just put that aside. Alright, then we have variants and history of the vehicle and the weapons weapons used on it. I believe alright, so we're starting off with suspension like usual. Usual dues. Can we take a peek into here? Let's see how many steps are in this beast. My, my. Serious instruction edge going on here. It's probably not as bad as it looks. Just a lot of instructions for just very few pieces to make sure that everything sits just right, of which I have no problem with. Let's see here. The model will be complete with a total of 44 steps. 44th step being the tracks, the tracks assembled, completed, and the antennas placed for communications and the turret being set onto the superstructure. That's pretty nice. We have here, I think there's actually more um, color options, but this is the Ohio National Guard. German Army 61. Okay, and then we have J Japan's Gra Ground Defense Force, 5th Battalion of the 7th Artillery Regiment, August 1979. Republic of China Army. Republic of China and the Khmer Islands, 1960. <clears throat> we have here U.S. Army Fort Bliss, Texas, 1967. There you go, Andy. It's close to you. All right, then there's the Self Defense School, the Ground Defense Force, Seventh Artillery Regiment, and the Ground Defense Force, Seventh Artillery Regiment again. Just on the side and on the back is a nice complete sprue map. Let me see here what is. This here for Taiwanese Taiwanese use only part replacement fo yeah, part replacement form. It's neat. Never seen that one there. For missing broken. Hmm. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> oh boy, orange is not coming up. And again, another brief history of the vehicle. All right, take a look inside. Let's put this under the box. 
All right. And Andy, if I skimmed over something you just want to know a little bit more of, please just go ahead and throw it, throw any questions down along with anyone else. If you have any more questions, please, I'd be happy to take more pictures for you, send them to you, do another, do another video on it. Um, all right, let's go ahead and take a look. What we have here, you know what, let's go ahead and do this nice for you. Let's cut this open. Okay. You have here what this looks like. These are the outer armor edges of the turret with the 240mm Bofors guns. So the internals, that's internals. And really nice armor details. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but mine's South Park in the background. There, here is this more. Okay, this is looks like fuel tanks, fuel tanks exhaust. More of the outer edges, the turret and the armor. Really not too much detail to really pull out and be precise on this one. Sign, molded tracks. Let's go ahead and move along. Let's see here. You know what? Let's pull up the superstructure. Go ahead. Now we can start getting some real talk going on here. <clears throat> oh, lazy Sundays. Lazy Sundays. Okie dokie. This is actually really nice looking. detail on the 30 cal. 30 cal is really nice on this kit. Of course you don't want to work. Oh, wait. There we are. There we go. 30 cal is just complete. One molded piece along with the, um, I can't think of it, but um, along with the mount. It's all molded a single piece. Really nice fine detail for the air cool vents. Beautiful piece, and this is also part of the ammunition, the ammo box with the belt rolling from the box into the gun, along with the box cradle. I would sit right up on the side here, 30 cal. Let's put it to the side. Okay, and this kit is from 2012. This is right down in there, 2012. Alrighty, let me see if I can. Zoom in to get better, more in the light. Alright, the superstructure, I'm not sure if it's rivets. It might be for this vehicle. Detail on the superstructure is actually really nice. It's a nice solid one piece. Take a good look in through here. That'd be the idler. That would be. The wheels sit pretty low on this one. If I'm not mistaken, this is a um, a chaffy chassis, if I'm not mistaken. Please correct me if I'm wrong on that. Let's build it through here. Let's put the machine gun back. Oh, wait, hold on. We have some extra goodies. That's what I'm really nice about this. Take a look at the 30-cal go. Here he is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Aluminum barrels. Get a better view on this one. Oh, here we go. Aluminum 40 millimeter barrels, along with the, I guess you can say the torsion springs, the recoil springs, along with them. So I guess you can operate it technically. Real nice milled solid one piece. Um, are they actually, are they hollow? No. So the tips are cut out. There you go. Tips are hollowed out. So these really nice one-piece barrels. I actually would not. I was not looking forward to seeing plastic two pieces. Let's just go ahead and throw these in the bag again. Go ahead and keep everything together. Friends with friends.
Uh, again, guys, sorry for the length of the video. Okay, put her there. Move this over. What are we looking at here? This is the gun mantle. Yes. Alright, let me move this just a little closer into the light. Hopefully I'll be getting a new light soon. Go and get more light in here, make the videos a bit better, easier to see for you guys. Focus, there we are. I'm not sure if this would be the 40mm breech. I guess it would be, but this seems to be like the rack that you would put the, uh, the magazines into to feed them into the gun. In there. We use those other parts of the elevation, elevation side of the vehicle. So this seems to be what it looks like. What else we got here? Alright, here would be the sheaths for, for the ammunition to be sitting into the gun. All pieces of the gun mantle itself. I believe the sights are no, 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 the sights aren't in this one. That's the next piece. Not mistaken. And we have is this dual sprues. Not oh, well. Here we have ammunition. Ammunition the four rounds, 40 millimeter. These would be the ammunition crates. And this is a dual sprue, along with the drive, the drive sprockets, and great the um, not the grates. Yeah, I guess you call grates for the headlights. The outer structure isn't sitting on the headlights. And this seems to be the rear deck with the intake. The intake, more towing hooks, towing hinges, the outboard lights, parts of the rear deck. Fueling parts of the rear deck. Decided here. Holy crap, wow, that is a nightmare looking. Thankfully, we won't be seeing that. It's near more of the tools. See, the road wheels are in one solid piece road wheels and suspension, suspension arms. Look fairly nice. Two piece road wheels, excuse me. Front. Doing the front and back. And there's the drive wheels here, the drive sprockets. This to be the dual, yes, it is. What do we got here? How does it sit? Okay. Sitting here. So you have the two front you have the two fenders for the right and left side. You have the be the upper area of the superstructure that would sit just below the gun and the turret board. Here, no driver's hatches, and these here seem to be, yes, these are the side racks that would sit on the fenders themselves, would be ammunition storage along with any other tools or supplies needed for the crew. Hey, you sit there, you said you'd be good, stay. Turning along with the crew here, look some in detail on this. Looks like a really nice kit. There's just a ton of parts. I'm not too shabby about that. And we have okay, the sights for the um for each barrel themselves, um for, of the 40 millimeters are photo wedge parts. It came with the kit. I'm not quite sure what these guys are. Is this wire fabric? No, this is actually wire. Wire towing cable. And a lovely ton of decals. Yeah, there we go. The Republic of China. China thing. Japan. Japan's national markings, Germany's national markings, Germany's um, license plate, armored license plate numbers. I can't really see too much in there, but let's go inside. And on the bottom of the AFE box, we have more kits. And to end the show, we have, I believe it's just plastic tracks, not vinyl. Although they are stretchy tracks, they do actually have pretty nice detail for them. It's on TV now. Now we're, now we're talking about pyramids. All right. As I said, although these are rubber band tracks, there is really no cleanup on these at all. That I mean, unless you, I'm definitely going to use these. They look extremely nice. Details really nice on these. Unless you prefer the other tracks, by all means. Aftermarket, there's no sin there. 
These guys here just seem to roll over and sit. Come on, camera. You can do it. Are you gonna do it? Probably not. Probably. Well, they sit fine. Hopefully you get the idea. Here we are. There we go. So when they're when they, when you go ahead and put them together, just with a nice piece, there is no evidence at all that that would be the connection point. As I said, I'll definitely be using these. Um, when I get around to building this kit, I'll definitely let you know on how she's building Andy. I hope this video was informative to you. Um, again, if you would like to see if you have any more questions and something that I didn't really go over in too much detail, please let me know. I'd be happy to go ahead and answer more questions, take pictures of screws for you or certain parts if you were interested in other things, or just by all means comment anyways. Alright, let's put this in here. That's the best way to pack for this. Alright guys, again, I hope this vehicle was informative to you. And once again, I'm going to say, as I always do in every video, if you have any questions on any of the kits that I've shown in any previous videos from before, it doesn't matter if it was my first, to my last, or my most recent, or wherever, ups and downs, odds and ends, please let me know if you have any questions at all, and I'd be happy to answer them for the video. Um, please text me through Google+, send me emails, anything. By all means, and I'd be happy to help you. Well, Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. Andy, I hope you enjoyed the video as well. And here's a look at the M42, the M42A1 self-propelled anti-tank gun duster by AFE Club. Have a good one, guys.